we are uh, solving few numerical problems in micro so this we are solving few problems on budget constraint and uh, so this is the question which i'm doing is not exactly from where in workbook but uh, uh, somewhat uh, in case if you solve this question it will be easier for you to solve the other problems in in the book suppose you get a weekly allowance of 100 dollars you get a weekly allowance of $100. <clears throat> and you can spend this on two things. You can spend it on commodity P right and you can say you can spend it on phone calls as well as commodity p is concerned that is costing you 10 dollars right as far as phone calls are concerned there are two situations uh, situation 1 is that you have to pay a fixed fee of $20 plus you will also have to pay three cents per minute of use. Mm -hmm. Second one is that there is no fixed fee, but you will have to give this uh, 50 cents per minute of use, right? Per minute of use, right? Uh -huh. I think it should be five cents, not 50 cents. Five cents per minute of use. Fair enough. You're being asked to draw the budget constraint. Draw the budget constraint. So this is an example of kinged budget constraint. This guy is an example. King budget line or king budget constraint. Mm -hmm. So let's see how do we draw this. Right. So situation one is that you're using this fixed fee of $20 and, and uh, three cents per minute, right? So what is the expenditure which you are making on this 0.03 M? So if you're using uh, this for M minutes, so the expenditure uh, which you are making on this is 0.03 M plus $20 because you have to pay this as a fixed fee. This is the expenditure which you are making on phone calls. Plus, you are paying $10 per unit of P. So it is, this expenditure is 10 P beta. This should be equal to 100. This should be equal to 100. So you can also write this as 0.03 M plus 20 equals to 80. So this is situation one. Mm -hmm. This is situation one. Situation two. Situation two is that you do not have any fixed fee, but you have to pay five cents per minute of use. So this is simple. You are buying how many units of commodity P? P 
at what price 10 so it is 10p and the expenditure which you're making on phone calls is 0 0.05 m so you're using it for m minutes uh, so the expenditure which you're making is 0 0.05 m this should be equal to 100 this is situation two hmm? this guy is situation two mm -hmm. now it is easy for you <clears throat> to solve one and two you can easily solve one and two so solving one and two I'm sure you guys can solve this, right? So I think it should be 0.03 M. Oh, I'm so sorry. It should be 10 P. I'm so sorry. It should be 10 P, right? So you can easily solve this. So it is 80 minus 0.03 m equals to 100 minus 0.05 m and when you uh, solve this you'll be getting m as 1000 and you can put this m as 1000 in either of these constraints so m as 1000 in one let's say and you'll be getting ps5 you'll be getting this so can we just draw these two can we just draw these two da, 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 da. Uh -huh. so you have p e out here you have m out here and uh, if you look at uh, situation one so if p is zero M is 80 upon 0 0.03, right? So this thing comes out to be somewhere here, which is 2667. In situation two, if P is, uh, and, and for example here, and if M is zero in situation one, if M is zero, P is eight. Right, so this is the budget for situation one. Hmm. Situation one, yeah. For situation two, this guy. If P is 0, M is 100 upon 0 0.05. Right? So that is 2000. And if M is 0, P is 100 upon 10. So that is 10. This guy is 10. Uh -huh. And uh, this is the point <clears throat> of intersection. This is the point of intersection, which is what? Uh, this is 1000 M and 5P. This is what 1000 M and 5P. Uh, now just think about it. If P is, uh, P is greater than 5 and less than 1000. Just think about it. If P is greater than 5, and m is less than 1000 then don't you think it is better for you to choose this part of the of the first budget constraint right this part of the first budget constraint if p is greater than 5 but m is less than 1000 so if you choose this you will have more choices which are available to you hmm? similarly if P is less than or equal to 5 and M is greater than or equal to 1000. Don't you think you should be choosing this budget? You with me? Uh, for you, I can also write this flatter budget constraint is situation 1. This steeper budget constraint is situation 2. Just think about it yourself. If you use this budget constraint, if you use this budget constraint, then all the choices, these extra choices are also available to you now, right? So it is better for you to choose this. If you choose this budget constraint, 
right? If you choose this budget constraint, then these choices are available to you now. So it is better for you to choose this, right? So the idea is that the consumer can choose uh, one of the plan. Consumer can actually choose one of the plan uh, and could take one of the other constraint, right? So what I can write out here is this, that uh, this guy, situation two is going to happen if, M is less than 1000. And T is greater than 5. This is going to happen. If M is greater than equal to 1000. And P is less than equal to 5. And P is less than equal to 5. Like this. Right? Like this. So, here the consumer can choose one of the plan and could take one of the other constraint, right? Choose one of the plan. and could take one of the other constraint, right? One of the other constraint. You with me? Huh? Okay, so I thought I'll do the other question today, uh, but I think I'll do it tomorrow then. So this was an example of the King budget constraint. So, uh, so these are not just the solutions of variant workbook. So, but in case if you solve these problems, it is easier for you to solve uh, variant work, and you should be solving them because uh, you can't understand micro just by reading theory. You will have to do few problems also, right? So, I hope you like this video.